Now what I will do is I will show you a program. So we have 8031, we can use 8031, then uh, display is connected to say port 1, rest of things are connected, then timer 1 is used and I have used uh, two signals so that I can understand whether the switching of input changes the display or not and then there is a display and uh, then there is a uh, that's all the displays other connections are connected to p2 and the input is given right so what we'll do is we'll try to simulate that first right so we'll open the program also it is written in c program c language uh, so first of all there is a while one loop because continuously the same program shall must run it must run we can see the initialization also the program initially will seem to be complex because it's a uh, complete program to show you directly the value right but you can make it simple also anyway so highlights will try to understand uh, timer is set, LCD is initialized, then timer is initialized to 0, then the timer is started, time killing is done, time killing is done, timer is stopped and the pulses, conver pulses are converted. How they are converted we will see afterwards, but they are converted and then they are displayed, then they are displayed right and the logic is over it goes to the main loop right we do not bother about the latter processing now but we understand whatever steps we have written down on our notes in our notes those steps are there in the program at least that much we can understand now what we do is we will build the code and run the frequency meter logic so it is showing some values here 60 kilohertz and uh, we can change this and we can see that it changes the reading in fact it immediately changes the reading right so uh, what i suggest now is that we started with what is frequency meter why do we need it how to design that and uh, we understood various approaches we understood that it will measure the fundamental not harmonics and uh, then we talked about the zero crossing detector and uh, the schmidt trigger we understood the major logic of the uh, microcontroller program and then we saw its program we did not understand the program in total so what i suggest is uh, I am going to put this on Moodle the whole program the Proteus simulation uh, please go through that it is not important to understand the whole logic right it is not understand uh, not uh, necessary to understand the whole logic uh, because that will take some time but if you could understand it's well and good major logic you should have understood block diagram you should know right everybody understanding this right right so do you have any queries hi ah, yes <laughs> correct it will have slew rate problem so uh, that is why we need to decide the range of the frequency meter that we would like to design suppose the range is 100 kilohertz right and then we have to choose the op amp which will provide you the correct square wave even at 100 kilohertz right everybody understanding this so you cannot use the same instrument for 1 gigahertz everybody knows getting the idea the is your problem so, uh, solved right so you have to design it accordingly it means you have to consider slew rate of that op amp also right even the uh, 8051 
also has some limitation of accepting uh, some square wave. You cannot make 8051 to accept 1 gigahertz square wave and say that now count it. It will not count that. Count that. So, you have to understand the limitation of 8051 also. We will understand that afterwards. In the second part, we will understand the limitation of 8051.